Hi everyone, thanks for coming along to today's session. Uh, my name is Scott. Uh, today we're going to be doing a stretching session. Um, this is going to be focused on um, movements you can do at your desk or on your chair and a few movements that you can do up against the wall as well. It's really simple movements and um, the reason for this session uh, is to help a lot of people during lockdown who are spending a lot of time at work at their own desk or just sat down and watching telly. This sort of stuff will help loosen you up a lot. And it's something you can do a couple of times during the day or a couple of times during the week just to loosen you up and stop you getting so stiff just sitting at the computer. Okay, so I've got a wee chair here. This is just to start the session off. We're going to be doing, again, a lot of movements that you can do at home while you're at the desk and um, just to give yourself a little mini break um, while you're working away. You might get sore neck muscles, sore back muscles um, as you're working a lot during the day on the keyboard or sat watching the telly. Um, so this is again just to loosen you up. <coughs> so if you've got a chair, sofa, uh, desk chair, anything like that, take a seat. Make sure your feet are nice and flat on the floor, back's nice and straight, chest is pushed up, hands down by your sides, nice and relaxed. And we'll just go some shoulder rotations to start off with. Let's bring those nice big circles up towards the ears. Back bringing those shoulder blades together and then pushing the front of the chest. Nice big circles. Again, we're just loosening ourselves up a little bit. Let's change direction then. Going forwards. Again, make those circles nice and big. Let's go in. A few more rotations. Relax those shoulders. Again, keep the feet flat on the floor. <clears throat> Just bring your chin towards your chest. Hold that for a second. And then we're gonna rotate the head around. Nice and slowly, you'll feel a pull on the neck. Bring it back. And to the side. And then the chin back to the chest. Let's go the opposite direction this time. Nice and slow. Stretches out those neck, neck muscles. Loosens out the top of the spine. Keep changing direction. It's nice and slow, keep it going. Breathing as well, nice slow deep breaths in and out. Bring it right back to the front. <clears throat> okay, similar kind of movement this time. Bring your right hand on top of your head and keep your left hand under your chair. So hold on to the bottom of your chair, or you can put it under your leg, whichever is easiest. And just a slight pull down towards the gun, not too hard, just to get a nice stretch on the side of my leg. Don't want to put it too far, don't want to pull down too hard, it's just support the head a little bit to increase that stretch slightly. Keep those shoulders nice and low as well. Okay, let's change sides nice and slow. Put the hand under the chair and bring the neck down slightly. Keep those shoulders nice and relaxed and down. Again, you should feel a nice pull on the side of your neck. Keep it held for a few more seconds. And relax. Okay, hands by our side again. Make sure our back is nice and straight, straight sorry. chest is pushed forward. Just with the straight arms, we're simply just going to raise them up to our sides. Bring them up above our head, stretching towards the ceiling. And back down, keep those arms nice and straight. And bring your arms down, keep the shoulders down as well. Bring them back up. Just loosening up those joints. You get quite stiff when you sit at the computer all day. Changing the channel on the TV. Back up again. Nice simple movements. Just to 
to get the body moving. Let's go one more time. Reach towards the ceiling and back down. Well done. Okay, again in the same position. Let's bring our hands to the side of our heads. Keep our elbows out nice and wide. Keep our shoulders nice and relaxed. We're just going to lean slightly back top of the back and bring it back up and let's go again keep those feet nice and flat on the floor just a soft bend and back up let's go again keep those elbows out wide and back up this time we're going to rotate slightly just slightly and we're going to tilt to one side and back up, back to the middle and to the other side and tilt slightly, keep those elbows out, back up, to the middle, to the other side, tilt, and one more time, back up, to the middle, to the side and tilt, well done, that's it. Okay. Again, keeping the back nice and straight. We're going to interlock our fingers, keeping our arms nice and straight. And we're going to pull our shoulders in front of us, keeping those arms. Just get a nice stretch on the lower back. At the same time, bring your chin down towards the chest. Keep it held. chest, chin down towards the chest. You should feel a little bit of stretch in the middle of your back. Just relax, arms down, chest out, and one more time, arms out front, fingers interlinked, chin down towards the chest, pull away from the side. Bring your arms out in front of you at 90 degrees. Cross your arms over. Bring them on to the top of your head. And then pull downwards so your chin comes down to your chest. You should feel the foam on, on your back, in the middle of your back. Keep it held. opposite way you had it in the third position. Top of the head and bring down the chin towards the chest. Keep that held. Remember to continue your breathing. up the back slightly. We're going to do a bit more rotation now. So this time again, feet nice and flat on the floor, floor even, knees pointed forward. We're just going to rotate our torso just to reach behind you the chair to your A. This helps loosen up the spine slightly, stretches out the back muscles. Let's go to the other side nice and slow. Use the chair to your advantage, pull against yourself. Okay, starting to feel a bit looser now. This time, 
We're going to interlink our fingers behind our back and we're just going to raise those elbows up towards the ceiling. Keep your hands behind the back of your chair and bring those elbows up as high as you can. Keep that held. And relax. And let's go back up again. Fingers interlocked, elbows towards the ceiling. Keep it held. Okay, relax. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to take the chair out of the equation. This is just a little movement that you can do at the desk, as I said earlier. Um, but the biggest tip I can give you if you sat at a desk all day is to get off the chair, move around, go for a walk around the flat, or go outside for a quick walk, do something, don't just be sat in the same position. This little first part of the stretch session will help just to do little mini breaks in the middle of your, your working day, um, but uh, always, I would always say, get up as much as you can, go for a walk, go for a wander, do something, just get your body moving. Okay, so I'm gonna move the chair out of the way this time, I'm just gonna do a little bit of work on the wall, just to finish this up. Okay, so make sure you've got plenty of wall space that you can use. What we're going to do is just going to put our back against the wall, walk our feet out slightly, and just going to bend those knees. What we're going to do is make sure that your back, the lower part of your back, is flat against the wall. Good way to do that is to squeeze your glutes, pulling your hips up towards your belly button. So you don't want a curve, you want it nice and flat against that wall. Okay? As we're doing that, bring your head against the wall as well. Make sure your shoulders are low and relaxed and back against the wall. Bring your hands, the back of your hands against the wall as well as the, your elbows. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna move our arms up along the wall upwards, keeping those shoulders nice and low, and back down again. Just loosen up our back. Back up. wall as you can. Make sure the lower back and the whole back is nice and flat against that wall. We're going to go for three more. Keep it as close to the wall as you can, moving up along the wall of your arms. Going. Last one. Same kind of position we're going to do is again keeping that back nice and flat, step out slightly. Let's bring the arms up against the wall again. This time we're just going to raise each knee up alternatively. Keeping your arms in the same position, we're just doing a slight march in that position. That just helps with the stretch and helps loosen you up a little bit. And we keep that lower back nice and flat against the wall at all times. Two more. One and two. Okay, come off the wall. This time we're going to be going down onto the ground. We want our knee and our toe on the floor, right up against the wall. So your leg is in the, your leg is in line with the bottom of the wall. You can make sure your back is nice and straight, and your shoulder should be against the wall. So we've got our shoulder against the wall, we're going to bring our arm out in front of us and clasp our other hand to it. Keeping our eye on our hand, we're going to move our hand around and back. Keep your eye on the hand all the way along. Again, we're just loosening up our back. Last one. Well 
of that. Stay in that position. This time, we're gonna move our hand up to the sky and down. Up to the sky and down, like a big rainbow. We'll go for two more. Make a big rainbow with your hand. And back. Last one. And back. Okay, let's back on our feet and let's face the opposite direction. We're going to do exactly the same, we're going to switch sides. Make sure the knee that's on the floor is closest to the wall. And it's flush against the wall, as well as our shoulder. Bring our hands up together. Keep your eye on your hand at all times, keep your hips moving. Stretch our arms out in front. Keep the head really stretch out with those arms. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to move slightly to the side. Imagine you're at a clock, you want to go at 10 past. You should start feel a pull on the side of your back this time. Just now, let's go to 10 2 this time. Keep those hips as low as you can to the ground. Really stretch out with those arms. Okay, let's go back to 12 o'clock. Just to finish off. Okay, while we're in this position, let's come forward. Lower our hips to the ground. Bring our head up towards the sky. stuck at the desk, <clears throat> excuse me, um, working a lot, sat down, not moving, this will just help loosen you up, if you're feeling stiff at the end of the day, it's the perfect thing for it. Again, I would always advise if you are sat down for a large amount of time during the day, get up for a walk, wander around, get outside as much as you can, do all these workouts that we're putting up on the website as well, this is really going to help, it's just about getting the body moving. <clears throat> excuse me. As always, if you've got any questions at all, or you just want to get in touch, or if you've got any feedback, or if there's any type of workouts that you want to see, feel free to reach out and get in touch. You can find me personally on Instagram. Uh, just search for at Scott Woods PT. That's at Scott Woods PT. I'd be happy to help in any way that I can. But for the meantime, take care of yourselves and look out for more sessions coming soon. Thanks so much. <laughs>